G'day everybody, my name is Joanne. Welcome to Moderna Design Sciences channel. What we're going to look at today is adding your eye properties area into your bill of materials when you do a drawing. Now, first of all, I need to go and create a user parameter. So I'll go to my parameters. If it's not at the top, it's in your manage tab, parameters icon. Then at the bottom, I'll select add numeric. I'm going to call this my part underscore area and I'll make sure I'll export it. Select done. Then I'm going to go and create a rule. If you don't have your iLogic browser, it's again in your manage tab, iLogic browser on the side. I'll right click in this browser and go add rule and I'll type in area. Okay. Then on the left hand side, I'm going to go to my R properties area, just double click on it, and I'll change the surface area to my user parameter part area. Okay, then if I can look at my parameters, it brings in the area of my part. I'm done, and I'll save this. Now you have to go and do this for each part that you're going to have in your assembly. Then I'll switch to my assembly. I'm going to go place the spot, right click, place grounded. Okay, now in my assembly area, I'm going to go to my manage tab and bill of materials. Then at the top of my bill of materials, now you can do this with structured parts anyway. At the top, I'm going to go custom property and then you need to type it in exactly how you have typed it inside of the part. Data type would be a number and OK. Then I'll select done and save this. Next I'll go to my drawing. I'm just going to say OK and I'll place my drawing down. I'm going to go to parts list, select this view and in this case, I'm going to use my parts only. Okay, place it down. Now, I'll double click on this table. And at the top here, I'll go to column chooser. I'll add a new property. Click to add. And again, type it in exactly the same name as in your part. Okay. Now, this one already exists. I've created it before, part area, and I'll just bring that in. Okay, there's my part area, apply, and okay. And there we go, we've got the area of each part into my bill of material. Unfortunately, you'll have to go do that every time in every part that you want the area from. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this tip. Please follow me on Twitter, Joanne underscore Hogan and on Facebook and LinkedIn under Joanne Hogan. You can also go and view this tip on our blog, blog.moderna.co.za. Thank you guys. Bye.